hello guys and welcome back to today's tutorial today i'm going to quickly show you guys how to make a logo so firstly i'll start by designing my shape so i'm going to pick this shape and then i'll turn the color to black okay so i will enable my grid and i will load this so next, I'm going to click on shape again and I'll reduce, I'll increase this radius to 100. Okay, then I'll go over to relative size and I'll reduce this to 40. Okay, so the next is to go to relative to position again and position this at the center by clicking this two at the same time. So the next um, from here is to click on shape again and then I will enable this so I will cut out these parts just this way okay so I'll make sure um, this is aligned with the line all right okay so let me adjust this a bit Okay, I'll adjust it again. All right, I think this okay. So the next step here is to merge the layers. So after I've done this, I will disable the grid. So from here, I will just need to rotate this this way. Okay. And then I will copy this and then I will rotate this way. Alright. So let me increase this. I'll increase this too. So let me check the size 44. And this should be also 44. Alright. Okay. So um, let me go to the angle. So this should be fifty-three, and this should be all right. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'll head to eraser color and I'll erase this. I'll click on this to eraser color and I'll erase this. So I just need to adjust this to meet the other um, shape. So this way. So let me go back to erase color and I'll increase this tolerance so I won't see any um, white outline. So I'll click on these two and I'll increase the tolerance. All right, so from here, I can just merge this. Oh, let me just lock it for now. All right, so the next thing from here now is to type my um, YouTube channel name or my brand name, JS Graphics. Okay, so I'll bring it here and I'll head over to fonts. So I will choose um, the source sound font. All right. So next is to go over to um, curve and I'll curve this. Okay, before I do that, let me rotate this. I think I've got 90, should be great. Go minus 90. Okay. So I'll rotate this way. So I'll have to reduce this. Alright, then I'll 
um change the position okay so let me go back to curve and then okay okay so let me reduce this to that the social rubrics so make sure these are the center of the um of the shape all right so the next i will copy this and i'll write just graphics design and i'll move this to this side so i'll go over to curve again and um we'll just take the this to the positive side sorry to negative side And I'll come to position. Right, I think this is great. So the next one is to import my logo and the social media um icon. So I'll go back to gallery and then I'll import the YouTube and Instagram icon. Although you can use any icon for this, I need to show me your icon. So I'm going to place this somewhere here. Okay, let me increase. All right, position this here. So next is um the Instagram icon. So I'll position this one here and then I will import my logo. So I'll place it at the center. I'll have to rotate this to match the angle. Okay. So from here, the next thing is to merge um this and this together then the tests and my logo together so i can assign the same texture to each of them so this one i'll click on this and i'll head over to texture and then downloads so i'll pick this one all right so i'll click on this and head over to texture Okay, and um, I'll pick this. So I'll just take this side. All right. So from here, I will then save as transparent. And the next step is to go over to Photo P for our mock-up. So here we are, photop.com, and then I'll go over to File. So guys, um, before we continue, if you are new to our channel, kindly support the channel by liking the video, sharing the video, and also subscribing. Your subscription, your like, and your shares help the channel grow. And don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you'll be the first to get notified whenever I release a new video on this channel. So I will click on open right now so I can import the PSD mockup I'll be using for this tutorial. I'll go over to my gallery, to my downloads, and then I'll import the PSD mockup. So the links to the files and PSD mockup used in this um, tutorial will be in the video description. So I'll just need to wait. We just need to wait while it loads the mockup. 
So this mock up usually, um, the loading of this mock up usually take a while depending on your phone's RAM. So you just have to be patient for it to load. Okay, so the next thing now is to go to the layers. Okay, here's the layers. Click on layers and then you double click on the place on the tiny small square you are seeing at the place written place your logo. Just double click on it. So I'm going to hide this initial design and then I'll go over to my files and open on place to import the pixel of design we we made earlier. Go back to my images, pixel up, and I'll choose the design. So I'm going. I'm just going to increase this to make it bold, and then fit it to the screen. Then next, I will click on files, then save now a smart object. So once it is saved as smart object, the next option is to click on this mockup right here. So you're just going to click on it and wait while um, this, the app works on your design. Okay, from here, um, I'll just need to save this. Click on files. And then export as then you choose jpg okay i'm just going to click on save and this automatically save our files so guys thanks for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if it really helped you and then share it to your friends who might be interested in learning this kind of um learn how to do this with your smartphone and also subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever i release a new tutorial and see you all in my next tutorial